I believe in Thomas supremacy. Hi, I'm Dutch, and I am reading Clockwork Angel for the third time. Infernal Devices is like a comfort read for me. The characters, we find out who they are, what they are, what they do, why they do it, stuff like that, just basic kind of world building as well as character building. But, you know, we meet our main characters, Will, Tessa, and Jem, and um, I love all of them. Just based on the first five chapters, I think that what you can tell about Will's character is that he simultaneously finds everything in the world kind of entertaining while he is quite angry at some things, but he is very, very charming. He's a very charming dude, Will, charming boy. Um, in regards to Jem and Will, I must say, um, I tried to explain what charming was to my friend today and the only thought I had in my head was Will. So, take what you will from that. He saves her from being kidnapped by the Dark Sisters where she has finally found out that she has uh, powers that she never knew she had. And then, we meet Jem. I love Jem. I found the whole like Jem like, scene like when like Tessa meets Jim, like, ooh, <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> I really liked it. Um, plays violin, solid, I like music. He was in his room in the middle of the night playing the violin. It was the best way to meet Jim. I just think it's very nice. And I think his whole meeting with Tessa is very well done. Uh, it really, especially like when comparing it to the meeting with Will, it really tells you like the differences in kind of like how they act and just like their characteristics. I really like the um, meetings that everyone has with Tessa, like how they first meet her, because I think it really attributes, it shows the mm, personalities of each of the characters like pretty well, like just from the first meeting. Also when we meet Jem, or when we have the scene when Tessa and Jem are first meeting each other, uh, Will pops by, and obviously in the first five chapters you do not know, but they are Parabatai, and so like finally seeing uh, Will show a different side of himself when Jem gets sick is obviously so different and it's quite jarring from like the self that he is showing to everyone else. And those are the first five chapters. I will be back to talk about the other chapters. So I have read the first five chapters of A Clockwork Angel and I have enjoyed myself. Well, there's not much to enjoy, I guess. I don't know, we got introduced to our main characters. Um, they set the scene, like, you know, England and all that, Victorian England. And it is very interesting because I don't think I've read a book set in like a time like this. Like I've obviously read fantasy, but normally it's like oh, a whole new world where like the customs are different, not like, um, like our world. <laughs> You know, there are terms for this. I do not know them. Well, at least I know of them, but don't know them correctly. And frankly, I'm too scared to get them wrong. So we're gonna just cope with this. But so far, I do like our three main characters, Tessa, um, Gem, and Will. Um, I must say, I'm enjoying Tessa's like narration a lot. And yeah, it's really interesting because obviously she's a girl in Victorian England. Well, she is American, but it's really nice to see how like Cassandra Clare like puts in like dashes of like setting while she's narrating because of like how she thinks with like how women should act because it's like a different era. And I don't know, I'm a nerd for those type of things. I liked it. I do not appreciate the cliffhanger after chapter five because initially I was gonna take a break because I was like, oh, my eyes are tired. But then I was like, wow, I if I took a break now, then you know, it's gonna haunt me forever. And it's haunting me right now because I took a break because I was watching Netflix with my mom and now I'm like, should I read? But then I'm tired, but then like, I should read. But then like, I'm driving tomorrow morning, but then I should read. But then like all these other things so yeah hello so this is just a quick recap of everything that we've done so far we have met camille she tells us about the quincy and how he's been murdering people and and then Tessa agrees to go in disguise with Will to De Quincey's party uh, so that they can find out if Nate is there. And also because they are breaking the accords. Benedict, that can't wait for that man to be the mess that I know he is. Gabriel, Gabriel and Will had that beautiful fight, their argument, which 
they always fight whenever they meet but it's always entertaining for me however i do get very irritated by gabriel at times because i'm like you cross the line i also found out like what happened to sophie like how she got her scar every time i read that story as well i feel really bad for sophie because like i love sophie like sophie's such a precious being i love sophie 10 out of 10 sophie always wondered this if parabotides are more prone to be attracted to the same people um I don't know, I just always find it very interesting. So I just read the page when Will calls her Tess for the first time. And I never really realized how much of an impact that thing had on me. Because ever like sorry. Ever since like him calling her Tess, I always call her Tess. I think that Will has influenced me to call her Tess instead of Tessa, which is what everyone else calls her, is quite funny. Also it's just cute. Okay, thank you. And like the whole scene's pretty precious because you know, he is realizing that this is all new to her and it's so strange, you know? And he's like, yo, no matter what, like, we can go back. Uh, quoting Sydney is amazing because, like, the other interaction we had with him, he mentioned that he didn't like Taylor to Sydney, so now that he's quoting Sydney, it's just, it's, it's very vital to the story, but it just makes me very happy. As you can tell, I ship them, which is so funny because Lisa likes Jem more than Will. And I'm pretty sure she ships uh, Gem and Tessa. I haven't actually asked. I'm on chapter 16. So, feelings. Um, at this point, I cannot tell if I like Will or Gem more. Now, hear me out. Will, annoying, but lovingly annoying. Charming. And like, he's still caring. Like, I swear, like, I, I just, like, you know, after, like, Sophie was, like, oh, he has a dark, dark secret under there, and I'm, like, now I need to know. But then Jem, like, see, my, like, Satch thought I would love Jem, and I do love Jem. But, like, I don't know anymore. Like, do I need to pick a side? I don't. I will love them both. I, however, love the whole love triangle. Like, I think all three of them are absolute precious babies. I love them so, so much. Hi, so we just went through the whole fight to Quincy which is always so fun for me to read I really enjoy reading like fight scenes and action scenes personally love reading um Gem and Will fighting Will bit De Quincy of course he did I mean he's Will but Will bit De Quincy that idiot but because of that we get the holy holy water scene so it's fine I believe in Thomas supremacy all the Thomases in the Shadow Hunter universe it happened we reached the chapter of blood and water. I think the problem is that I know what happens after. I'm on chapter 13, which is essentially the chapter where everyone's being mean to Charlotte for no reason. And I won't stand for it, okay? Like, I love Will and I love Tess, but they don't need to go be mean to Charlotte, okay? Thank you. Sure, I've read the entire... <laughs> the whole time I feel anything, I'm like, but I've read the entire series. Like, I know what happens i know why or whatever right when will was rude to henry until today that still hurts me henry is just the sweetest angel in this the world he's just such a nice person and it hurts me so much when will says anything mean to charlotte or henry to them they love him and they don't think that he loves them she literally said you know henry is a kind man and he loves you He's known you since you were a kid and you've always been like a younger brother to him and to me as well. I love you, Will. And he is like, I wish you didn't. So after Tessa storms off, uh, Jem finds her at the steps and he tells her about Blackfriars Bridge. And so they go to Blackfriars Bridge. She mentions how Jem is the only person who Will loves. And Jem is like, yep, yeah. And I was like, yeah, it's true. But like, who doesn't love Jem? Jem kind of tells her uh, what happened to Will, like how he came to the Institute, like that story. And then he also tells her what happened to him, like a summarized version of what happened to him that led him to the Institute. I just really love Jem and Will, like as Parabatai, I think they're like the best Parabatai duo. I'm sorry, controversial maybe. <laughs> Automatons came to attack them and they gave their declaration of war. Then Jem gets sick, he gets ill. Will comes and says that Jem is asking for Tessa. He says, he wants to talk to you. So you're gonna get up and you're gonna come and you're gonna talk to him. 
Jem is ill and he will do anything to give Jem what he needs right now. When Tessa follows him to go to Jem's room and he's quiet the whole time and he's stoic and his jaw is set and whatever not. And the moment they get there, he immediately tries to school his features into a smile as if he's perfectly fine and happy. That does show you as well just how much he cares about Jem and he wants Jem to think that he is fine and that Jem shouldn't have to be worried about what he's feeling and whatnot or feel like a burden or anything like that. I just, I love my boys. That's it. Bye. So Jem told her about the Yin Fen and what happened to him like fully then will was like get out of the room he needs to rest will is very protective of his private time so a lot of things have happened since i last checked in but essentially nate told them that where de quincey's hideout is so the enclave went to go get rid of de quincey's whole clan meanwhile mortman came and told will and jem that like the dark sisters were doing something evil and so they should go and then the institute went under attack um, with the clockwork army and we find out that Mortman is the magister here's the thing, from the beginning I never liked Mortman, like the first time I read it so I kind of had an inkling that he was not good and also I didn't like Nate so I, both, I had an inkling they were both not good I definitely didn't think that the Quincy was the magister because it was too easy but I do not think the first time I read it that I thought that Mortman was a Magister either. I just thought he was working with the Magister along with Nate. I know what's going to happen next. I know who's going to die next. And I'm not ready for it. I just read the scene where Tom dies. And no matter how many times I've read that scene, it always hurts me. It always hurts. It's just a good person, like genuinely. Also, I found it very interesting that Tom knew how Will felt for Tessa before Jem. So I just finished which means I had to read through what Will said to Tess which you know what reading it this time was not as bad and that's probably because I braced myself for it like it was not as bad as I thought it would be you know because I've, I've read it so many times I guess I'm mildly immune to it and Jem tells her how everyone here at the institute has no other family but each other so they've chosen to become each other's family even if they're difficult and stubborn and they don't listen and they argue at the end of the day they know that they're family to each other and that Tessa is welcome to be a part of their family but Clockwork Angel is good I love Clockwork Angel it's a good book I recommend it thank you <laughs> that's it that's it I'm done with the book I'm done I finished it. It's done. And annotated. <laughs> Extremely annotated. And done. So, um, welcome to my floor. I am back from lunch. I took a little lunch break after, um, let me check. I just finished chapter 17, so I have 18, 19, 20, 21 to go. And, um, I don't know how I feel about finishing the book today, like, I obviously want to finish it really fast because I'm really curious as to what's going to happen because chapter 17 ends on like a big um whoopsie because basically like the magistrate sent to Quincy and like I thought it was because no one ever said like anything like, against that the entire way through and all of a sudden Dark Sisters are like oh, hey that's not him and I'm like oh okay and like I'm just really confused because Mortmain like he came to like the institute and like I thought he'd be trustworthy. I don't know. Clearly what I'm learning is that I'm not very smart in piecing together parts of the story and um, I trust characters too fast. <laughs> so yeah, um, I'm really excited to finish but also kind of terrified because Satra's like, oh you're finishing it? Like you're at this part of the book now and I'm like, yeah. And um, that kind of worried me. So, um, oh, this is kind of weird because it's almost been like one week since I finished Clockwork Angel and, um, yeah, <laughs> so my reactions aren't gonna be as, like, intense, I guess, because it's been like a while and I've had a lot to think about since reading the book and, um, well, all I can say is that it was fantastic. I actually got...
clockwork prints already but um now this is gonna make me really upset oh my god something's gonna fall wait um so um clockwork angel and clockwork prints are in two different editions and you know i was going to try get it in the same edition but like there was no other way like the other store in the mall connected to the mall i was in like that bookstore like, they closed down i didn't even know and so now i'm upset about that first of all oh you can see my pajama pants in the background um you know that's fine so yeah i mean it's not that bad if they were like the same height i'd be a little bit upset even though there's like the blue like thing over here like at least it would match up more but it doesn't even match like <laughs> it's upsetting okay thoughts so um i think the last like update i gave you guys was i thought mortman was like kind of okay or not not kind of okay but like um i didn't expect to not be able to trust him and then the next page after it was like yeah he's a magister and i'm like what like what i, I don't know if i am forgetting something but like I i've been thinking about it a, a lot not a lot but like, a little bit like over the past few days and like, how does he just have people listen to him? Like, he's a mundane, right? Like, how how does he get this influence? Like, if it's been said in Clockwork Angel, uh, maybe I'm just like a little blur. I missed it. I do that a lot, so I'm gonna have to reread it. I was gonna reread it anyway. Oh my god, Nate! I thought Nate was a good person. Like, I remember when I found out that Nate had went to like had asked to go like. To be taken to a, a meeting at the pandemonium club like i thought he was a bad person i told sasha she's like oh funny how he does like this one thing and you think he's a bad person so i thought he was gonna be a good person you know like that one thing took me off i am just too naive naive too simple-minded and you know I, I couldn't believe it like i can't believe it such a bad person like through and through oh my god when thomas and was it agatha yeah that was so sad Oh my god, it was so sad. I really appreciated how like the fight scenes were so like well done. I think I already said this, but like yeah, like to like I still think about it because there was never a moment where like I could not picture it in my head. Like there was never a scene where I found it difficult to like follow along. Like, I didn't have to like reread a part just to figure out like how everyone moved and how everything worked. And I really just love Jem, Tessa, and Will, like, those three, man, I I just love those three as a group, like, they work so well together, and I just love it, like, I love group dynamics so much, I love when books center on, like, a group and they, like, go do the little, like, adventure stuff, but yeah, but, like, um, I am still waiting for his backstory, like, the epilogue, oh my god, like, I wish I only read the last chapter of the book and didn't read the epilogue because <sighs> if you enjoyed um it's actually raining i finished reading at about seven yeah seven however i forgot to mention this in the video but church church gem got church that's it that's the most important thing gem got church okay i'm done now but man look at gem like he's so pretty like he's so pretty